What's going on guys? Danny with Lanier Lawn Care and today we are going to go over my review of the Milwaukee Brushless M18 High Demand Trimmer. So first I'd like to say thank you to Milwaukee for sending me this out. It's really been a great opportunity to uh, get to review your product and some of the great features that you've provided on it. So let's get started in this video. Alright guys, today we're going to go over my thoughts of the uh, Milwaukee High Demand String Trimmer. Now this is battery operated, so that's a huge thing to me. Comes with uh, your 9 amp battery, also comes with a dual rapid charger for your M12 and your M18 batteries. <clears throat> so uh, one good thing about this is once you start charging one battery and it's completely charged it'll automatically switch over to the next battery in the slot and it will start charging it as well so you can knock it out now this is a rapid charger so it also charges your batteries up to 40 percent quicker than your normal battery charger when it comes to the milwaukee trimmer this thing has been fabulous now without the battery in you're looking at about 9.9 .9 to 10 pounds somewhere around in there with the battery in you're looking at about 12 pounds so it's really about the same as any other trimmer is going to be but with tons of pros to it <clears throat> one pro to this is not only do you have variable speed but the over uh, mode of this is just fabulous this handle is so freaking comfortable with it, it just feels rubbery and squishy it feels excellent in your hands nothing hard <clears throat> just great to hold on to now this molding even though it is a plastic feels very durable very durable plastic then you have your rubberized here kind of the same cushiony feel so you get a great feeling in it now when you throw the battery in this bad boy you do have variable speed right now we're on rabbit which is the fast speed put it on low here on turtle believe you're going to get 4600 rpms out of slow variable trigger so you can pull it have a low speed pull it all the way in and go full throttle now let off put it on rabbit got your slow speed and then full throttle so with the low you're going to get about 4600 rpms with the high you're going to get about 5800 rpms so there's quite a bit of difference there for what i found trimming just mostly uh the grass that i trimmed with uh, a well-kept property low was a great speed for me with low the battery life of the battery i got around 30 to 35 minutes each time on low with full throttle now with high uh, going through thicker grass, I got around 20, 20 ish minutes, somewhere around in there, uh, with, uh, with it being on the high speed, high mode, and that was full throttle as well. Never once did I let off full throttle. I didn't use the variable speed any at all. It was just literally full throttle. <clears throat> so once again, low speed, about 30 to 35 minutes trimming full full throttle then with the uh, high speed then once again you're going to get anywhere from around 17 to 24 minutes somewhere around in there depending on the grass you're cutting now if the grass is a little lower your run time is going to vary it's probably going to be on the upper end of around the 25 minute mark if you're cutting thick stuff then it's going to be lower than that you're putting more strain on the on the motor so it's taking more battery so therefore you're going to probably be looking at around the 15 to 20 mark now this does come with the 0.80 string in it <clears throat> this can be switched over this is a twisted line that it comes with this can be switched over to 0.95 and with the 0.95 you can put up to 20 feet in here it says switching this out is very easy literally all you do is pull this off boom then you have this spool that pulls out show you here pull this spool out and your string comes out you wind it up 
rotate it around like you would a normal trimmer then you just simply take your little screws here where your string comes through line it all back up and push your tabs in push it up and it's locked into place so very easy on that part <clears throat> thing has been great um, so I'm gonna show you some video here we'll show you some of the stuff that I went through just some of the the grass that I put it through and uh, get your final thoughts all right guys before we get started I want to show you some great features about this that I really like and enjoy so we're going to start with the battery here this is the 9 amp lithium ion battery weighs about two pounds but it's very very high demand battery uh, for what you're going to get press the button down here it tells you how much power you have left then on the sides you press them in it's going to release your battery now we're going to move on to the speed control as you can see it's in turtle when you let off the handle completely you can adjust the speed from low to high and another great feature is these are nuts in here that are metal you turn it over that's what your bolts go into is actual metal not plastic so no worries of stripping anything out same with the bottom on the guard here your four bolts are going to screw into metal so once again no worries of stripping anything out very durable if you want to switch your cutting swath here from 14 to 16 inches you literally remove these two bolts right now it's on 16 turn that little cutting guard around and it goes to 14 then the very bottom here <clears throat> Milwaukee hooray for them got a freaking metal bump uh, head so the part that you bump against the ground is metal not gonna wear out as fast as plastic is going to for great durability so as we move on to using the trimmer here as you can tell it edges pretty fantastic this I'm pretty sure is on low mode I didn't use high mode very much uh, except to see a couple times how it was going to do when it came to time wise of how much run time you were going to get seems to work very well on edging no issues there whatsoever All right guys we're gonna show you some trimming now this thing whizzed through some of the grass and weeds that uh, I trimmed with it all around it was excellent um, I honestly have to say I'll probably end up using this on my personal yard from now on just to save gas and it's still going to get the job done and it's very cushiony on the handles and stuff so that's another huge plus so I mean it's just it was very comfortable to hold um, just so you know this video is not speed sped up any um, this is just regular filming right here I did a point of view here for y'all to show you you know some of the stuff I was going through how it whizzed through it now mind you this is in low mode here once we go to uh, the backyard we go into high mode and uh, then you'll see the difference of how well this thing really cuts get some string out here just tap it on the ground like you would a normal trimmer and back at it again go around the little brick landscaping here look at it this swings it right out nice and pretty We'll go around a tree and then we'll, we'll go to the backyard and start on the backyard. Fast forward to it. Show you what high mode's going to do for you here. Now we're in the backyard. We got this beast in high mode. And as you can tell, it does a very good job of cutting. As we get down the fence line, it gets a little thicker here makes it clean up real nice though with that 0.80 twisted string that comes with it 
just slices through it like butter. I mean, look at that. I mean, if, if this ain't for you and you're a landscaper, I understand that <clears throat> because of the batteries. Um, but, if, I mean, if you already got the batteries and you absolutely need a, a low noise with no emissions um, to do something, a property you do, then this is one heck of a trimmer to have for that. By all means, it just, it's so, just slices through it. But for a homeowner, this would be excellent. Totally excellent. No, no fuel, no maintenance. Just literally put your battery in and go. You already own Milwaukee products, and of course, that's a huge plus as well. Because, you know, all you got to do is switch from your trimmer to your, your uh, power drill or whatever you're using. And uh, it, it works with all your tools. So, this is just one of the many tools in 125 uh, plus lineup that Milwaukee has that the batteries work with. So, literally, it's... it's awesome that they have them going into uh, you know where they work with different tools and stuff so we're getting close to the end here and then we'll give you a uh, go over a little bit kind of a final thoughts of uh, how I like it alright guys so that's the Milwaukee brushless trimmer and uh hope you enjoyed the video this thing is uh rust resistant supposedly as well so that's another huge plus about it it's been a great trimmer for what i've used it for if i had more batteries i would probably take it on more properties if i had uh you know the equipment now if you're a guy that runs a lawn care business and you use milwaukee tools already and you already have all them batteries lying around this is probably a great addition to you, especially in the HOA properties, places where uh, you need low noise, um, then these are gonna be great. Very low noise, and uh, it's gonna get the job done just like uh, a regular trimmer is going to do. Now, this has the power of, I'd say, uh, <clears throat> about a 225, SRM 225 Echo, so it's definitely not bad. This may be a little under the 225 Echo, but it's still going to get the job done on low. And if you're in the taller grass, put it on high. I would recommend whenever you uh, do run out of the .80 string that it comes with, switch over to the .095 string, get you a little bit thicker on there. It's gonna cut a lot better for you as well. But this thing has been awesome so far, guys. And uh, I'd really like to say thank you to Milwaukee for sending me this to do a review on. And we'll see you in the next video.